So back uh, 20 or so years ago, back in 1999, we had opportunity to run a section of river that we rarely ran at that time called Goodwin Canyon. So I recruited some guides, which happened to be all my brothers. And we went out there and we had an awesome trip. We had flips, we had swimmers, but the neat thing about this river is that all of the major rapids, there's a big, big calm at the bottom of it. So you run these intense rapids, a lot of things could happen, and then you end up in a big pond. I feel the light in the light and when we got to Honor House, the last really big rapid, the river narrows down and gets uh, maybe 15, 20 feet wide, and it's a really fun drop into a big, frothy whitewater wave. And you can be right on the shore, really close to the boats that are when they run. And so I had a bird's eye view of my brothers going. And the first one, which was Greg, he made it, but at the end didn't have a lot of people in his boat. Everyone had swam by him. Next one was my uh, brother Randy, and he flipped. So Mark was the last one to go. And he ran it how he's supposed to, yet when he moved from one side of the boat to keep the boat flat, he ended up sailing out of the boat and took himself out, right out into the big wave. And had a pretty good swim, but came up fine, and his boat ran the rapid pretty much without him. Since that trip back in 99, we run Goodwin on a much more regular basis. Every fall, we run it for a couple weeks in October. And we, uh, we're not as rusty as we were back then. Our staff has a great time out there. It's sort of the last big hurrah for the season. Our guests that come and our staff that go, it's still that intimate sort of private trip that we had with my brothers back in 99. But it's a group of people that are a little bit more seasoned and guiding regularly. So yes, we still have a lot of action, but it's all fun action and not quite as, I'll say, thrilling as that trip back in 99 was. Mm -hmm.